I recently built my dream racing sim setup, which is something that I've wanted to do for years. I've been a fan of racing games since I was a kid and I wanted to experience them properly rather than just using a controller. So I teamed up with GT Omega, Moza Racing and MSI to build myself this epic setup to chill and enjoy some racing the way it was meant to be. And today I'm going to be giving you my thoughts now that I've been using the setup for a couple of weeks. Oh, and there's also the small matter of announcing the winner of the $2,500 PC giveaway a little later on too. So let's dive in. So this was a project that I was very excited about doing and you can actually check out the full build of the sim and this corner setup on my channel. But I wanted to sit down and actually experience using the new rig before I shared my thoughts on it. It's certainly taken some getting used to compared to racing on controller, but spoiler alert, I absolutely love it. To recap, for the cockpit I'm using the Prime frame from GT Omega, which was a great choice because pretty much everything on here is completely modular, meaning I can move and adjust the position of everything from the chair to the wheel deck to the pedals to the shift plate. And that allows me to set everything up in a way that is most comfortable to me, and then if anyone else wants to have a go, I can adjust it accordingly. The design of the frame with these channels allows me to bolt pretty much anything I want to it, so if I wanted to add some more accessories to improve the experience, I can easily do that. Along with the Prime Cockpit is this RS12 chair in carbon, which looks absolutely fantastic and is also nice and comfortable to sit in. Obviously, this is really important, especially if you're going to be spending a lot of time sat in the cockpit. You don't want to be uncomfortable when racing, so this certainly has me covered. As I say, I can easily adjust the position of the seat forwards and backwards to get into the sweet spot for comfort and the back is actually adjustable as well. If you watch the build video, you'll know that I played up the amount of time that this took to build, but it wasn't all that complicated and the instructions were easy to follow. So if you're looking for a cockpit, if you want to build your own sim, I definitely recommend this one. Oh, and by the way, all the parts I use are linked in the description if you did want to check them out. The monitor I'm using in this setup is the MSI MEG 342C gaming monitor, which is a 34 inch QD OLED ultra wide. And again, if you want to see a full breakdown of my thoughts on this, then I did a full review on my channel a few weeks back. But just to summarize, this monitor is perfect for this kind of setup as the curved ultra wide panel is great for immersing yourself in the gameplay and feeling like you're actually in the car. Plus, with it being a QD OLED monitor, the quality of the visuals is just fantastic, the colors are really vibrant, and everything feels so smooth and responsive. The only downside here is that there's no speakers built in, so if I want to enjoy it fully, I do need to use headphones, but if I'm honest, I'd have been using them anyway, as monitor speakers are not the best way to enjoy gaming. But the main part of the rig I was very excited about is the wheel, wheelbase, and pedals. This is the R5 Racing Bundle from Moza, which comes with everything you need included. You get the R5 wheelbase, ES steering wheel, and SRP light pedals, and this is where the first downside does come into play. As you can see, this pedal kit only comes with two pedals, the accelerator and brake. It does not come with a clutch included. You can buy one separately, which just bolts on, but I don't have one just yet, so I'm having to make do without. Obviously, this does affect things quite severely because I either have to map one of the buttons on the wheel as the clutch or just use automatic gear changes, which is not really the best way to experience a setup like this. And while we're on the subject, you'll also notice that I have a shifter plate installed on the cockpit, but I don't have a shifter. Don't worry, I'm also going to be picking one of these up from Moza in the near future too. The wheel and wheelbase though, I am absolutely loving using. This is a direct drive wheel kit, which means that you get much more authentic feedback, giving you a higher level sim racing experience. Before I built this rig, I had never actually used a direct drive wheel before, so I didn't know what to expect. And wow, was I blown away the first time I tried it. You can really feel every bump in the road, every curb, every change in terrain. It gave me the feeling of being an actual racing driver. I'm used to playing things like F123 and Gran Turismo on the PlayStation or Forza on the Xbox, and while they're not exactly super authentic sim games, playing them on here is a whole new world and is so much fun. Every slight movement of the wheel, every little application of throttle or brakes feels so much more important to get right and so much more impactful when you don't. Stepping into games like Assetto Corsa was another level and for a novice like me, getting used to even keeping the car on track certainly took some time. 
I'm not trying to be a professional sim racing driver or even close. I just built this setup because I wanted to have the most fun racing experience that I possibly could. And boy, does this setup deliver. As soon as I sit myself down into the cockpit and take a car out for a spin, I'm immediately immersed in the experience, the speed, the atmosphere of racing. The pressure of hitting every apex, nailing every braking zone, it all feels so much more real. It feels like there's less control, less safety, and I am loving it. Another thing that's great with Moses products is their pit house software, which allows you to dial in everything to exactly what you want. You can adjust all sorts of settings to deliver the kind of racing experience that you're looking for. Whether that's adjusting the level of steering angle, the amount of force feedback that you get when playing, you can dial all of that in so easily in the software. And the setup is super easy too, as each time you add an accessory, it simply pops up in the software and you're ready to go. You can even launch games directly from the software as well, saving you the time of opening separate game launchers. Moza have really come on strong of late and I'm looking forward to adding more of their gear to try on the rig in the near future. But now is the part of the video that I'm sure a lot of you have been waiting for. It's time to announce the winner of the $2,500 custom PC build from Viraltech. So many of you entered but there can only be one winner and that lucky person is on screen now. Congratulations I've reached out to you already and I really hope that you enjoy your prize. And for everybody else who didn't win, I'm sorry, but there will be plenty more opportunities for giveaways on here and my other socials, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel and following me on those as well to be in with a chance of winning. Now I'm going to hand it back over to Pass Me for the rest of the video. So for all the people wondering, what am I going to be doing next with the setup? Well, it just so happens that as I'm recording this video, I already have a few new bits on the way for the rig. Moza have sent out a clutch pedal, shifter and handbrake so I can finally fully experience hardcore racing on here. Then I also have a couple of upgrades for the cockpit on the way from GT Omega 2. Plus something super secret that I'm not going to tell you about just yet. But I'm also looking at what I can do to spice up the actual surroundings too. I'm thinking of adding some RGB backlighting to the monitor for a pop of colour and then some underglow lights for the shelves. Then I also want to fill this empty space on the wall, maybe with something like a really cool framed motorsport print. But let me know down in the comments if you have any ideas on what you think I should do to upgrade this setup. I'm going to be doing a video soon, adding and testing the new parts, so who knows, your idea could even make it into the video. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please leave a thumbs up to show the algorithm, and let me know what you thought in the comments. Make sure you're subbed for more upcoming racing sim content and of course a ton of other cool stuff too. And don't forget if you want to keep up with everything you can check out my discord and other socials linked in the description. Have a great week and I'll catch you all in the next video. See you later.